Hey guys, Deal Games here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for Minecraft 1.6.2 using the new 1.6 launcher. It's fairly simple, and the new launcher allows you to switch between various mods fairly easily, so let's dive right into it here. The first thing you want to do is get whatever mods you want to install. In my case, I'm just going to be doing too many items because it's a fairly easy one to do, and it's simple for this tutorial. Then you want to navigate to percent, app data, percent from the start menu. If you're on a Mac, I don't know what you're going to do because I have no idea what the directories are for uh, Minecraft on Mac. But if you're on Windows, percent, app, data, percent. Then hit enter. It's going to take you to this folder. Then you're going to go to dot Minecraft and go to the versions folder, which is new for 1.6. And as you can see here, we have a list of all of our downloaded releases. Here's one for Forge, and here is 1.6.2, which is the one we need, because that's the version we're going to be installing mods for. You're just going to click that, Control-C, and Control-V, and it's going to create a copy. And now what you want to do is rename this to whatever you would like. It could be TMI, it could be, I don't know, Flans, Planes, or whatever. But I'm just going to call it Mod, because it's simple. You're going to open up that folder. And inside you will see 1.6.2 and 1.6.2.json. You're going to rename both of these files to whatever you named the folder, which in my case was mod, so I'm going to rename both of those to mod. And then what you want to do is edit that .json file. You can do that just using Notepad if you don't have Notepad++, but I have Notepad++ and it's a better program, so I'm going to use that. At the top here we have a field called ID, which says 1.6.2, and you're going to change that to whatever you called all of your files along with your folder. So mod, save, and exit that. And now all we have to do is install our mod. So you're going to right click that, open with WinRAR Archiver or 7-Zip, whichever you prefer to use. I'm going to close that folder because we don't really need it anymore. Delete meta-inf pretty much uh, the thing you have to do every time when you're installing mods. We're going to open our mod archive. Too many items. We're going to select all of these Java class files here and drag and, drag and drop over to our mod.jar. Add and replace files. OK. You can close up both of those. There's just one more thing to do and that is to set up the profile in our launcher. What you're going to do is go to new profile we're going to call it mod for simplicity. You can title that whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And for use version, we're going to select release mod because that is the one we modded with our too many items. Save your profile, select it from the list. It's going to make you log in. There we go. Launch the game as you normally would. And we'll go into single player here, fire up a world. And now if I press E, you will see that we have the TMI GUI. And that is all there is to it, guys. So I hope you find this useful. See you guys later. Deal Games, signing out.